Hi everybody, this is Gregor from Personus and I want to ask you, have you heard of Mix the Music yet? Mix the Music is an awesome website where you can purchase and download multi-track exports from world famous songs and compositions and then you can really take a deep dive and explore how the artist got to the result that you're hearing in the end. Of course, these kind of stems are copyright protected so you can't really take them and, you know, throw them in your own productions, do a mix down and do anything you want with it. But you can still learn so much by analyzing each of the instruments, understanding how the artist or composer uh, layered certain sounds to achieve certain effects, how they play with stereo panning and how they sometimes then collapse to mono. All these kind of things are incredible to learn at your own pace with a multi-track session from Mix the Music. So to start, go to mixthemusic.com and create an account that you can then link with your My Personas account directly. Once you've done so, you can just browse their entire library of artists, songs and albums and see which one you like. You can purchase it directly and then you're gonna get the download link for that multi-track session. Today I'm going for Mad Max Fury Road, the soundtrack, and uh, specifically Spiky Cars, which was composed by the amazing Tom Holkeborg, aka Junkie XL. Once you've downloaded it, simply drag and drop it onto Studio One's start page and you're ready to go. So without any further ado here, let's dive right in and see what we got. So we click OK, we're not gonna infringe the uh, copyright, gonna click away the song information, and we see that there's quite a number of stems on this one. It's 34 in total. So before we get started, let me just select all of these and pull down the gain. Like so. What's really cool about this also is that it comes pre-mapped with the tempos, including all the signature changes. That means that our metronome, our click of the track will always be um, accurate. So that means we can just go to the loop browser, um, throw some delays on, and all that kind of stuff will always be in perfect sync with the arrangement. Okay, so let me just give you a quick listen here. It's like really massive and stereo. How he's playing with different subdivisions here in the arpeggios and the strings. And then often he just collapses it instantly with great effect. And that just makes such a great dynamic throughout the entire track, I think. Yeah, and that part in particular is really the signature of this entire thing for me, these driving percussions, these doo -doo 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 -doo. I love that and I would love to use that um, kind of dynamic drive in my own productions. So let's look at how we can do that right now. So let me just go ahead and solo the drums here and then try to find that spot that's really the signature drive of these percussions for me that I heard. Yeah, this kind of stuff. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. It's somewhere in here. Uh, let me just solo a couple of these and I'm gonna use solo follow selection to quickly identify which one it is. That's the one. That's exactly what I want. Okay, so let me just extract this groove for my further productions really quickly. How do we do this? Well, it's incredibly simple. All we have to do is just split the event into the four bar selection that we want to extract here. And then select the event and go to the quantize page. From here, we want to go to the groove maps menu. And if you're not familiar with groove maps yet, I have an entire tutorial on the amazing capabilities of this feature. And I'm gonna link that in the video description as well. So now all we need to do is just drag this event onto this box that you see in the groove maps here and let go. So once that's analyzed, you can actually see that each of these transients has now gotten one of these blue lines. And that is essentially a quantization template now that I can use in other productions as well. Not just that, but also the intensity of the transients has been detected as you can see in the different volumes here. 
So this is just a one-to-one -one replica of this particular performance. Best of all, I can just click on the plus here and save this as a preset. So let me just call this Junkie XL Percussion Drive or something like that. Just hit OK. And now I have that available in all my other productions as well. And this is just an incredible resource to add swing, velocity and other things to dull rhythms and make them more lively. Let me give you an example for this. So in this example here, I have an Impact XT playing a pattern for my kick and my clap and a part that's playing a hi-hat pattern. And right now it's playing all notes straight 16th at the same velocity. So it sounds very boring. It, it kind of sounds robotic, right? Because all of these notes are completely quantized. And more importantly, you see that the velocities are always constant, like I said. So here I can now apply the groove of the percussion of Junkie XL that we just extracted a moment ago and apply it to instantly get more life into this. Let me show you how. So once again, we just go to the Q, the quantize menu. And now we just simply recall our preset so down here you see it says Junkie XL Percussion Drive. And now I can specify exactly on a percentual basis what I want to extract from that groove. So I don't want to quantize the note start points, so I leave that to 0%. I don't want to adjust the note length either, so I leave the end at 0% as well. All I really want to do is extract the velocity of this. And then I just hit Apply. And you can see how Studio One has now mapped the velocities of my hi-hats accordingly. Now I can just make some brief corrections here. And now I'm going to use Option and T for the Transform tool to make these changes a little bit greater. And if you want to learn more about the Transform tool, I have an entire YouTube video about that that's also linked in the video description. So Option and T. And now I'm just going to drag from the bottom handle downwards and now a little bit upwards and that means I'm expanding uh, the difference between the highest velocity and the lowest one, making these changes a bit more obvious. So let's check it out now. There's instantly a lot more life in this. And now one more thing we could do is just go to the Q page down here and go to the grid page instead. You can see that we can have independent pages here on a per editor basis. And now I just want to introduce some swing into this. So just select the notes and then turn up the swing, maybe by 7% or so, hit apply. You can see that all the notes have been slightly shifted so that it sounds a bit more human. And let's see what we got. Now we could maybe add a beat delay or something on top. Much, much better. So as you can see, you can learn so much from these multi-track sessions by Mix the Music and you can get so much inspiration out of them for your own productions, even though you can't use the actual stem material. Thank you for watching.